Rupert Grant is opening up about his relationship with Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling. The actor wrote a piece for the Times What I've Learned series, revealing he likens Rowling to an auntie. I don't necessarily agree with everything my auntie says, but she's still my auntie, Grand wrote. It's a tricky one. The actor, who stars in the Apple TV Plus series The Servant, wrote, I measure my life in Harry Potter movies. They're so ingrained in me. I find it very hard to detach myself from being Ron, we merged into the same person, he continued. I can't believe it started 20 years ago. It definitely sculpted who I am. I mentally closed the door on it even though I'm constantly faced with it, Terry's the play, the theme park and it's always on TV. He added, I don't see Dan, Radcliffe, and Emma, Watson, as much as you'd expect, so the reunion was very nostalgic. Grant recently took part in the HBO Max Harry Potter 20th anniversary, returned to Hogwarts special where he reunited with his co-stars. Rowling did not make an appearance in the special, although she was shown in archival footage throughout. The author came under fire in June 2020 when she appeared to support anti-transgender sentiments in a series of tweets. Though she denied that her views on feminism are transphobic, she doubled down on her controversial standpoints in a lengthy essay shared on her website days later. Stars Radcliffe, Watson and Grant each spoke out against Rowling's much-criticized remarks regarding the transgender community. Radcliffe, 32, stated definitively in an essay for The Trevor Project that transgender women are women. Any statement to the contrary erases the identity and dignity of transgender people and goes against all advice given by professional health care associations who have far more expertise on this subject matter than either Joe or I, Radcliffe wrote at the time. According to the Trevor Project, 78% of transgender and non-binary youth reported being the subject of discrimination due to their gender identity, he added. It's clear that we need to do more to support transgender and non-binary people, not invalidate their identities, and not cause further harm. Additionally, Grant, 33, said in a statement at the time, I firmly stand with the trans community and echo the sentiments expressed by many of my peers. Trans women are women. Trans men are men. We should all be entitled to live with love and without judgment. And 31-year-old Watson expressed her support in a Twitter thread too, trans people are who they say they are and deserve to live their lives without being constantly questioned or told they aren't who they say they are. I want my trans followers to know that I and so many other people around the world see you, respect you and love you for who you are. Actor Rafe Fiennes, who played Lord Voldemort in the Potter franchise, told the U.K.S. The Telegraph back in March that he personally feels the level of hatred aimed at Rowling is uncalled for. I can't understand the vitriol directed at her. I can understand the heat of an argument, but I find this age of accusation and the need to condemn irrational, said Fiennes at the time. I find the level of hatred that people express about views that differ from theirs, and the violence of language towards others, disturbing. 
Rowling published a new children's book with Scholastic titled The Christmas Pig in October, and she penned a screenplay treatment for the forthcoming third Fantastic Beasts movie The Secrets of Dumbledore, in theaters April 15, 2022.